Hey guys, it's Hirai Kasehi. Um, a lot of you may probably wonder, what the fuck? This is not a TVP school of T50 tank refill. But um, yeah, uh, I want to address a few problems that I have made previously on the T110 E5 refill. That um, if you guys remember that the first clip I showed, I get pinned on the side by a E4 that is not because I over angled and not because well it is because uh, the E5 had terrible side armor but um, it's not getting the normal pen because of it um, actually it is because the lower part of the side of E5 it's only 44 millimeters so um, anything up to a about 132 yeah maybe um, millimeters of cannons will overmatch um, by the mechanics of the three times overmatch mechanics so um, so I was probably angled like this and then the E4 just shoot right here and then through my tracks and overmatch my pro side armor and ammo rack too and um yeah so um i have a few clips about um to confirm this thing so here it is uh so here's the demonstrate of getting overmatched by uh, 132 millimeters or higher so the first was a bad shot, so just bear with me. Waiting for the second shot. We've lost the there. Track. You see? In this angle, he's not going to penetrate my side. Um, from the normal mechanics, but um, he is using the 140 millimeters, so that overmatch my lower part of the side arm. So that's a pretty big weak spot on the E5. I just realized that, and then I asked him for putting a shot. Um, not through my track so because I can't see the shell penetration mark on the first shot so we we'll wait a bit okay there so um, here's another mechanics and uh, not mechanics, but the the display system, I guess. Um, if you're getting overmatch when the shell through your tracks, um, it didn't show up as the penetration mark. But um, as you can see here, uh, it clearly is mark uh, uh penetration mark here. So, um. If you are wondering how you get panned and you can't find a penetration mark, it's probably eat up by a track. So um, one, okay. So another shot will demonstrate when the shot hits uh, the upper part. What will happen? So. I think it's almost. There. Now he shot just about it. Um, I don't know if you can, if you guys can see because of the lighting, but the shot actually went up here. That that is the upper part of the side armor, which is seventy six millimeters. Um, thus. It ricocheted and uh, yeah, so aim for the lower half if 
you have 132 millimeters gun so that's in that's about it of these issues so so now you guys know why I am getting panned by that angle um uh, oh by the way um if you get overmatched by this you can easily get ammo rack and if you're lucky enough set set you on fire as well so be careful okay so let's move on to the actual videos okay here we are let's go to t50 t9 checkers buggy medium tank um it has a auto loader with the shot uh the gun wise it's pretty good well as far as uh, auto loaded concerned it got 2300 dpm uh 20 second reload um uh, it shots delay is 1.8 seconds which is not bad consider uh the french auto loader have uh, 2.5 seconds aim times two seconds uh dispersion very nice 0 0.33 so um, the gun handling is quite good. Uh, also, the shell velocity 1400, so uh, it's APCR, so the time you need to um, lead for your target is quite a lot less than uh, normal AP. So, the ammo is enough for the fight, and um, so about that's about it. The gun handling, so. Mobility top speed is 50. I would say it's not quite enough, but um, well, what do you what do you expect? So 50 is pretty nice, but um, in my opinion, it's not enough. But um, it will get to get to the places faster than most of the other tanks. So um, power to weight excellent 25. Tank tank first 44. It's enough. And then the track turn resistance, hmm, effective turns. Hmm. Don't know this stat before. Maybe it's at the new because of this is the tank GG beta. Uh, turn resistance is okay. So, but um, you definitely don't want to be on soft turret. So that's that. Gun depression eight degrees. Uh, nobody cares. Gun elevation so. Uh, turn to first for is uh, forty four degrees, so it's I wouldn't say fast, but it's enough. It will get it will get the work done. So Amorize don't count on it, so it's pretty bad. Um, we can see here. So the armor no, don't count on it. So. If you get hit, usually it will it will pad. So, except the occasional bounced, I guess if somebody is shooting here, they might bounce or here. So, but um, all in all, don't count on it. So, uh, that's it. Health one thousand six hundred fifty, just pretty standard. Free winch with the cold optics and the bent oh i forgot to add about how do i add the clue skill hmm here yeah, maybe hmm. um i don't know how to add the clue skill but um anyways so with Optics and bent. We have four hundred forty-nine view entries. Is pretty nice. Um, equipment. So, um, you don't have a rammer. So, pretty much the setup is what you would normally do. So, if you really want to reduce the aim time, you might want to drop bent for enhanced gunning drive, but I wouldn't recommend. So, um, tank stat 
is over. And now let's talk about how you should play. Uh, this is not a normal medium tank as you might have noticed. It has an autoloader, so it need to play somewhat like a support tank. If you talk to it, you might, and the maps and the team setup is right, you might go out, go at the front and dealt more damage. But um, usually you you just a support tank that clean up the others, like the wounded tank. Oh, yeah, because um, your clip size is 900 damage per clip. Um, so yeah, you probably should pick up the wounded. So, uh, not a front line tank like the T54. So, uh, you might want to try uh, find opportunities to flank around or find a chance when the enemy is fired, and you can pop up and give free shots into them. So that's yeah, that's more about how you how how you can play well in this tank. So um, I have I have one gameplay that um shows you guys how to uh, play this tank effectively with with some platoon mates. So here we are in the chat factory. I'm platooning with my buddy Jet. He is in the M46 pattern, so let's get started. Well, now from the start, um, I will usually go around the outs outskirts of the factory, but um, they have two very good artillery players, so I do not want to get one shot. So, so I decided to go to the middle. And try to spot out the enemies. And I somehow get spotted. Maybe there's a uh, 1390s running around. Um, yeah, so we wait for the opportunities to pop up. That's how. A support tank should play so. There's the thirteen nineteen. So I managed to get spotted from there. Um, mostly because um, there's someone. Yeah, I'm a ping ping in the map. Mostly someone are in there. So I loop around to get closer. Oh, and I uh, get a better view on that. Put the shots in because um, I can see the artillery is making the one about it. So it might hit, it might not. I'm not in real danger, so taking a shot anyways. And a cheeky shot. Take out the 1390s. Now in this point, I can uh, see the mostly the enemies are in the town, so I'm thinking to help out, but then realize that I can just flank around through the middle. So there's the Korean pattern. Now it's very important to not stop in aim in the middle of nowhere, so keep moving. And now there's the advantage of a autoloader. 
I give him three shots in returns of his one, and then Jet finishing off at the back. Now I was thinking pushing around this flank, but then I can see the minimap that the E4 is pu um, pushing quite aggressively, so I finish up this Waffen trigger and then talk to Jet that um, we need to pull back and help the Jagdpanzer E100 because um, he is one shot kill from the E4. Now the mobility is quite good on the T-50, it's just top speed is a kind of under ramp, so Notice that I do not um, rush over and I kind of wait until the E4 has shown me his side or he is fired and then take the key. And now the waiting game. Put a few shots into the T57 heavy and take the kills. Now it's important to look around the battlefield. I just noticed the ST1 is fired, so I move in and then create a bit of chaos to the enemy. Jet finishing the ICU up. Yeah. So, um, in this in this replay, I can. Uh, Show, I showed a bunch of skills that, well, awareness that you need to develop when playing the support tank, just like this one, or the 1390, or, or any kinds of autoloader. So, um, so, in the start of the battle, uh, don't always rush in as normal tanks because you need to keep up the, keep your health up and uh, to trace shots um, in later when your enemies are wounded or in uh, hurt so uh, for the start of battle I stick around in the middle try to spot things and then realize they are all in the city so me and Jet move in to clear up uh, to have a better angles on shooting our enemies and clear up the northern side of the their base, and then realize uh, the E4 is uh, the enemy E4 is pushing quite ag aggressively. So me and Jet returns and clear that up, and and uh, from there on the enemy just do not have the numbers to stop us. So there's um, the support tanks should do finding flanking angles and flanking size of the enemies, and uh, punish them for letting you getting their side. So, I hope you enjoy this replay and this somewhat review. Um, if you like it, please hit the like button and subscribe for my channel. It helps a lot. So. Um, and this kind of review, I am planning on doing this once per month. So, so um, each month will be a new tank with real up. Oh well, provide I have that tank. So, 
so that's about it so hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you in the next video